So tonight is the perfect night for astrophotography. There's no moon, there's no clouds, and there's no wind. So that's just what we love. It's supposed to be like that all night. So I'm gonna take full advantage of that, and tonight I'm gonna to be using two rigs. Hi, I'm Simon, and you're watching Simon's Astro. So I'll quickly go over the rig I'm using. Here we got the tripod and mount, which is the EQ6R Pro by Skywatcher. On the mount, I've got fitted the iOptron iPolar. And we've got the ADM upgrade saddle. The scope is the Skywatcher Spree 120 at 840mm. Guide scope is also Skywatcher, Hever Guide 50. And then the camera. 2600 MC Pro and we've got the ZWO filter drawer and there's the ZWO EAF and the ASIF Plus the guide cam is the 120 mini and then that's the Pegasus Powerbox Advance and my second rig is my recently acquired HEQ5 Pro from Glenn from Astro Bloke and on here I've got Red Cat 51, the Canon 60DA DSLR. This will be run by my ASIF Pro. I haven't yet decided on the targets for tonight, so I'm gonna look on Stellarium and pick out the two best targets for these few scopes. The Spree is 840 mil, and the Red Cat is 250 mil. So I will check out Stellarium and choose the best two targets for these two rigs. Okay, so this is my target for tonight. It is the Eyes Galaxy, which is part of Markarian's chain. And it looks pretty cool. There's an awful lot of galaxies there. I've got 840 mil with the Esprit 120, so I'm zoomed in a bit to this area, that red box, you can see that's the frame. That's what I'm gonna get in the frame. Nice selection of galaxies, with the eyes being in the center. Very nice. Let's hope it all comes out okay. This is my other target, the Heart and Soul Nebula. And as you can see, using the Red Cat 51 at 250mm, I can get both targets nicely in the same frame. It's a perfect polar alignment. I can now get Kraken on my target. So I've just slewed both rigs to Capella so I can get focused. This is the Red Cat 51 with the Canon 60DA. That is Capella. I um, don't have an EAF for this rig, so I'm going to put on the good old baton off mask. So the good old baton off mask never fails. That's focus from the uh, Red Cat 51. So I can now slew to my target as we're focused. So this is different for me tonight. It's a little bit of extra work, I have to say. Got two rigs going. Got an ASI Air on each rig. This one is running the EQ6R Pro with the Esprit 120 and the 2600 MC Pro. And on here I'm doing part of the Markarian's chain. I'm doing the eye, the galaxy. And on this one, I'm doing the Heart and Soul Nebula. I've got them both in the one shot because this is with the Red Cat 51, which is 250 mil. And they're both on 10 minute subs. I've got stuff everywhere, I have to be careful I don't trip over this lot. I've only got the one battery pack, which is the Jackery, which is a fantastic thing. Unfortunately, I have to have this power pack, which is mains operated, which means in the dark, I have to be careful I don't trip over the wires. So this is fun, I have to remember which iPad to pick up. <laughs> one controls this rig. 
one controls the other rig. So this is quite exciting. This is the first 10 minute sub about to pop up coming from the Esprit 120. That is the Eyes Galaxy part of the Marcarian's chain. Uh, so it looks like. Wow. Yeah. Just look at all those galaxies there. That is amazing. Yeah, I love that. And here we go with the other one. Just wait for it to pop up now. Oh, there's something there. So I just come out and saw this and had a bit of a shock, but I realized the camera is pointing at the corner of the house. So I think that answers that question. Note to self, make sure I position the tripod slightly better next time. So the session went reasonably well, apart from the fiasco of me photographing the house for over an hour. So consequently, I didn't get a, enough data to make a reasonable image on the Red Cat 51. So I'm gonna to have to do that all over again another night. But uh, I managed to get a reasonable image from the Mark Aaron's chain, the Eyes Galaxy and that I'm going to share with you at the end of this video. Um, it just leaves me to say thanks for watching. I um, appreciate everybody who subscribed to the channel so far. If you like this kind of thing and would like to subscribe to this channel, uh, please do so. That would be much appreciated. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Wish you all clear skies.